everyone, Seth Rudetsky, and it's summer. How can you tell? Look at the T-zone. Look at the oil. Don't, no close-ups. Uh, I'm sitting here with, first of all, A, John Tartaglia. Hello. B, and speaking of Italian, Jews, the next best thing. My nieces, there's Eliana, and right next to her, Rachel Sarah. Hi, girls. They have a job to do. I'll tell you what it is in a minute. So first of all, what do you do with the BA in English? A, you get a Tony nomination. B, you write your own TV show. C, you write your own off-Broadway show, which is now going on tour. John Tartaglia, tell us about Imagine the Ocean. Tell you about it? Yes. Well, it's an innovative off-Broadway glow-in-the-dark musical that is currently playing at New World Stages, starring oh. a cast of underwater sea friends. Is that right? Underwater sea friends? I guess it's kind of the same thing. You're so corporate. Oh, I wanted just, the whole, like, I've always had a vision of, I wanted that kind of, like, You have six minutes. Talk. We don't have time. We don't have time for, for, for laid back. The point You're is not getting the Oprah version. It's going, oh, she left <laughs> TV now. Oh. Single tier. All right, so it's going on tour, but Tartaglia <laughs> did this great show that I saw, I guess, uh, at Joe's Pub is where I saw you do mm -hmm. it. Because John not only does uh, Muppet, but he also does imitations. Now, you've never been in Forbidden Broadway. Have you ever wanted to be in Forbidden Broadway? I've always wanted to do Forbidden Broadway. I was going to say you should try it. I just realized it also closed. Oprah <laughs> and after Forbidden Broadway? <laughs> Devastating. Okay, but I want to talk about some of the imitations you're going to do. So we, we wrote down all these names in a hat that he does. So you do some Muppets. You do Miss Piggy and mm -hmm. Elmo. I mean, yeah, a lot of them. Miss Piggy, Elmo. Who are some or, of the Broadway folk you do? Uh, I do Carol Channing. That old chestnut? I do, uh, that old, yes. I do a very poor man's imitation of Heather Headley that I enjoy for dinner parties and otherwise. Heather Headley, it's so specific. Now, why Heather Headley? Well, how, do you, what do you base your I imitation on? I found out Heather Headley is one part Kermit the Frog, one part soulful voice. And I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. <laughs> now, how did you find it out, though? That's my question. You know, I don't know. I think, sadly, it was like I was kind of obsessed with Aida. I love her, by the way. Like, I'm obsessed with her. And I think I was listening to Aida. Aida, I was like, oh, it's the gods love Nubel. And I was like, oh, it's Kermit. With a little more, like, ah. You guys had to riff a lot. <laughs> a riff. And feel it. Ah. I love what Okay, that is. so we're going <laughs> to really We're going to take a song from John's childhood, a role that you've always wanted to play, Eponine. And my lovely niece is going to hand John random names that we've written down, and he's going to sing the song in that style. I have no idea what the order is. Yes, now, by the way, what we're going to do is you have to guess first, then we're going to have Mark, my playable editor, cameraman, he's going to Chiron on the names after he begins. So Chiron. You so, so, Chiron. You worked with Corky before. Yes. You've done this before. Yes, I have. In industrial films. Um, <laughs> ever seen the Anne Harada sexual harassment industrial film? Yes. It's like, do you like sexual harassment in the office, and Anne is sitting at her desk, and someone walks over and massages her shoulders, and Anne Harada's like, <laughs> you really uncomfortable being harassed? It's a hilarious video. Anyway, the point okay. is, okay, so the, random names. I'm probably going to forget the words. I'm warning everyone now because okay. it's uh, hard to do voices and singing as up and at the same time. It's all good. Eliana, you're first. <clears throat> so begin as John Tartaglia. I'm going to start off as me. So I get my break down slowly. On my Wait, own. Well, focus is amazing to so the boxes. Do you like that? Right there. Right, the boxes. I was off in the distance. I didn't want to be like, hey, I just went Broadway. I'm obsessed with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not self-conscious. On my own, pretending he's beside me. All alone, <laughs> me walk with him the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. Without me, oh, I <laughs> You can't do that. Sorry. Around me. And when I close my way, I lose my eyes, and he has found me. I Not the my words. Eyes. Not the words. I told you. Oh. And, uh, and I know it's only in my mind. Is that Kermit? It's Heather Headley. See? Yeah, it's the same. Did you hear that? Is it Kermit? No, it's Heather Headley. Who oh, no. knew? That I'm talking to myself and not to him. I love that one. No for Elmo. No, no vibrato for Elmo. Elmo doesn't have a, a vibrato, no. Okay. It's actually very low for Elmo. Take it up the octave. Take it up. Oh, up the octave? Yes. Oh! Alexis! <laughs> Sorry. There's a way for us! It's really tragic. It's going really well. I love him. Chelsea, I hope you're watching. I love him, but when the night is over, when you, he, you, he's gone, the river is just River. It's Cookie Monster and Carol Chan. <laughs> They're one and the same. Um, <laughs> what word are we on? Without, I don't know where we're without, yeah. without okay. me. Without me, he's with the Carol and Tanya. A word that's filled with happiness that I have never known. Now it's a pair! I love him. 
I love him, oh, Kirby. I love him. Oh, great, we have like two lines worth. But only on my own. I love you guys. How amazing is that? Wow, applause for my sister sitting in the audience. You didn't get Rod. Oh, Rod was the last one. Ah. Actually, if you want, Rod does a really fierce version of uh, the end of, Phant of uh, The Phantom of the Opera, as Christine. The end of, I mean, ah. Yes, Natalie Belcon and I, we're probably out of time. Natalie Belcon and I, as Gary Coleman, she used to be the Phantom backstage and I would be Rod. Hit it. Can you say sing for me? So from the, uh, so, um, so, um, sing for me. <laughs> So one more time, so we have the wrong chord. Okay, so we cut to me. I'll, I'll do the sing for me. So it's yeah. uh, 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 And then it's the same note again, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. That's the part Natalie Buckham would fall over laughing. She's always falling. She always right, falling. We're out.